I am so excited to show you one of my favorite recipes. It's a slow cooker pork with beans and greens. And it is great because you can just put it on before you leave in the morning and it's ready to go when you get home from work or school in the afternoon. What I'm going to start with is a little bit of a rub. Now you can do this the night before and rub um, your Boston butt with that. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. So the rub is a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one teaspoon of chili powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Now these chili powders, I just want to show you real quick, we have lots of differences in color going from very dark to a little bit of an auburn brown. They basically all pack the same heat. What you're looking for is the color differentiation because it just is more appealing to the eye. So I always look for a darker chili powder color, which is this one, which is my favorite. And then the salt, half a teaspoon for this whole recipe, which by the way serves eight. And you can actually turn it into a soup too, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But we're just going to use half a teaspoon. It's very important when you're rubbing meat, you want to use a kosher salt. And this salt is a little bit, um, it's coarser, it's a little bit larger, and it's great for um, rubbing on meats. You don't want to use an iodized salt um, because it's just, it doesn't pack as much power like the chili, um, chili powder because it's just so small and granular. So now let's look at this meat. Talk about economical, $1.09 a pound. That's what I picked this up for um, at my local grocery store. It does come in two large packs, and what I did is I cut it in half, and if you want, if you're feeding a smaller family, you can even cut it into fours, put it in the freezer. Now, where this comes from, this is called the Boston butt, or it's actually a pork shoulder. So it's coming from the shoulder of the animal. And if we think about pigs and how they walk, they walk like this. So every time the pig takes a step, it's using that shoulder muscle. And where you can see the results of that is if you look at this cut of meat, you have all this marbling in and throughout the pork shoulder. Now, this is not fat. This is connective tissue. This will melt where you do have some fat. And I've already cut a little bit off, but we have some fat here. So to lower the calories and lower you just lower the fat in the recipe, just kind of come in with a little pointed knife. This is a filleting knife or boning knife. And we're just going to take out some of that fat that we see on the surface. Now this can be done the night before. And we're just going to come in just like this. So what will happen is this will just break down through the slow cooking process of a slow cooker. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our little rub and if you don't have time in the morning to do this and let it sit for about a half an hour, that's okay. But if you can, do it the night before. Just pop it in the refrigerator and it is good to go. So we've rubbed this nice rub all the, round, all the way around. Just remember, anytime that you do touch meat, you want to make sure you sanitize your hands. And then I'm just going to use a slow cooker. If you don't have a slow cooker and you want to do this in your oven, that's fine. You can do that too. It's going to take probably about... 275, 300 degrees for about four hours. So that's just going to go in. And on top of that, we're going to put three whole cloves of garlic. And that's going to add some flavor. You're just going to peel your garlic. If all you have in the house is just some crushed garlic, that's okay too. You can use that. So we're going to just slice them in half. And we're going to turn the setting on low. So we're just going to pop those in. Setting on low one cup of reduced sodium chicken broth, or even better, if you can make your own chicken stock and make it sodium free. That goes in, lid on, and good to go for about five hours. Now what's gonna happen after about five hours, and so that's one of the reasons why I love this recipe is about after five or six hours, I come home and I have homework with my kids. So that's when I kind of finish, wrap this up, finish up the dish. So what I've added to this are some beans, and I want to show you, you're going to need two cans of cannellini beans or great northern beans. A cannellini bean basically is a white kidney bean. But the trick is, number one, you can buy low sodium, or what you can do, just drain the beans and rinse them. And that's going to take away all that residual salt. If you want, you can use dried beans and soak them overnight. So we're, what I'm going to add to this mixture after it cooks for five hours is one cup of tomatoes, two cans of cannellini or white kidney beans, and I want to show you, I'm going to add some green. So our green component would be escarole or uh, maybe some chopped kale. Now these are hearty greens, they're great for you, they're full of lots of vitamins, but it's just real important if you're going to use the kale, which is this, or the escarole, which is this, 
what you want to do is take out that center stem where it's just a little bit tougher and then what I do it's a little bit of a cut called a chiffonade you just roll it up just like this take a knife make sure you tuck your fingers under and we're just going to give quick little cuts just like that so that along with the beans and the tomatoes go over the mixture and then as an added little crunch if you want I have pumpkin seeds. Now these are unsalted, they're called pepitas. If you have trouble finding them, that's fine, just omit them from the recipe. Or if you're not having a problem with some sodium, we do have some that are already roasted, but typically the ones that are already roasted do contain a little bit of salt, so kind of watch out for that. Now what's going to happen is right um, when you're adding your beans and your greens, you can just take a little fork and shred up the meat a little bit. This is eight servings one and a half cups per serving. So it is a meal. It'll freeze great. You can go to sparkrecipes.com, pork and greens, pork beans and greens. It's a great meal.